My dear brothers and sisters, it's Christmas day. The wait is over and we are finally with the birth of Jesus. Something that generations and generations have spoken about and for generations people have waited for this great day. From the book of Genesis in scripture, we hear of God telling Adam and Eve that I will send a savior. You have the prophet Isaiah prophesizing that a virgin would bear a child. You have Hosea speaking to the people, I will call my child out of the land of Egypt. Micah telling the people that Bethlehem, you will not be called a little town. Everyone has been waiting for this great day. And finally, my dear brothers and sisters, it has dawned on us. The wait is over. And 2000 years ago, when it actually happened, no one ever realized that something so great has taken place. One child born in Bethlehem in a manger did not affect anything, did not affect the people close by. It did not feel any different. The only positive thing probably was one more male child was born in Israel. Besides that, nothing seemed anything extraordinary. And yet, my dear brothers and sisters, the entire face of the earth was going to change because of this one birth. There is one carol which I really like about this entire event. It's called, Do You Hear What I Hear? Since I am not a good singer, I'll let this carol play a little bit so you get a feel of what this is all about. Said the night wind to the little land. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? A star, a star, dancing in the night With a tail as big as a kite With a tail as big If you picked up what this carol is actually saying, it starts with, do you see what I see? The night wind is expressing, do you see what I see to a little lamb? It notices a change in the sky, a star in the sky. And then the lamb sees the sky and pays a little bit more attention and the lamb expresses to the shepherd boy, Do you hear what I hear? I hear the sound above the trees. So beautiful. And then the shepherd boy pays attention, goes, looks around and it sees the child. And then the shepherd boy tells the king, Do you know what I know? A child born shivering in the cold. Let's bring him silver and gold. So beautiful. And then the king says, let's, let's listen to him. My dear brothers and sisters, if you notice the gradual progression of this carol, it's not the kings who noticed it. It's not the great grand people who noticed it. Creation noticed it first. The sound, the, the noise, creation picked it up. Then it went to the lamb, then it went to the boy, then it went to the king. That is the beauty of this king. Born in the most, most insignificant way. And that is what Christmas is all about. And you know, my brothers and sisters, I would like to take this carol a little bit further. When we go to the crib, Mary turns to us and asks us, Do you see what I see? And probably our answer is, yeah, we can see the little baby born. And then Mary will say, do you hear what I hear? And we would probably also say, yeah, we can hear this baby cry. And then Mary will ask us, do you know what I know? And we say, yeah, it's God born, become human. And she would put that question back to us. Do you really know what I know? And if we pause to realize and to think and to ponder, we do not really know what is actually happening. God, 
the magnificent, the mighty. Creation has been waiting, prophecies have been told about him, is born. And yet we do not really realize that God has become so vulnerable that probably even the cold could kill him. That is God for us. I put it in a word like God's style is very different. Any of us would have expected God to come in his grandeur. Anyone would think that God would come in his pomp and his power. And here you find our God coming in the most vulnerable way. So insignificant that no one even knows that he's born in the most insignificant place, Bethlehem, out of the, out of the way place. And that is our God. God with us. My dear brothers and sisters, this Emmanuel, this God with us, is so close to us, so close to us, that he passes by to the left, to the right, in front of us. And we've got to ask ourselves this question, do I really see him? Do I really know him? Do I really hear him? He's there so much with us that we miss him. He just passes like one of the ordinary and we don't really pick him up. He's either in our brother and sisters, he's either in someone on the road, he's either sitting in the train, he's either in the rickshaw, he's maybe the rickshaw driver. He's there so much around us that we miss him. And my dear brothers and sisters, for those of us who are able to see or to hear or to know beyond the ordinary, will realize that that is God. Christmas will no longer be a day that will end on the 25th. Christmas will go on and on for us, for those who keep encountering the God, keeping almost born everywhere and in every person. And if we reach that stage, my dear brothers and sisters, then God is born in us. We really feel the joy of God in our lives. Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? Do you know what I know? We know now that God is born. And on this joyful day, I wish you, each and every one of you, a very, very Christ-filled Christmas to go out and to see him, to go out and to hear him and finally to know him as God truly is vulnerable, struggling and yet very much with us. God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters and a very, very happy Christmas to each one of you and your families and everyone in your neighborhood. God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.